this problem about palindromes is a great example of casework counting. Um, and as you read through this problem and realize uh, that this seems like maybe it would be somewhat complicated to come up with these and somewhat random, but the problem is nice to you and gives you one pair that makes this happen. And I think it's helpful to look at why that pair works. And when you look at this pair and go through an add, you realize what's happening is every time you add the two numbers before the remainder, you get 11. Now, that starts to make sense when you realize to get a five-digit number created by two four-digit numbers added together, your first digit, your 10,000th digit, has to be a 1, which means this digit has to be a 1. And because that digit has to be a 1, it could only be something that adds to 11 or adds to 1, but it can't add to 1 because one of the digits, that means it'd have to end in a 0, which would mean it'd begin with a 0, which means it's not a four-digit number. So we know that these two and these two are the same, and they have to add up to 11. So they have to come from these four pairs of numbers. Now, the question is, does the same thing have to be true in the middle? Because it is on this example, so let's think about it. Well, we know if we're going to add one there, that means we're going to have 12, which means this here has to be a 2. Well, the only way for that to be a 2 would be a 1 and 1. And if you did 1 and 1 and 1 and 1, you would get 2s for both of these, but then you'd no longer get a 2 there. And if you didn't carry one there, then you'd get a one here, and the only way to do that would be zeros. And it turns out that that's going to be another example of ours. So our two possibilities are these in here have to add up to 11 as well, or the two middle digits are zeros, and we'll look at those in just a second. So they have to add up to 11. All four, all four pairs have to add up to 11, and they have to be a palindrome. So it's very specific how they look. When you look at a four-digit palindrome, it's enough to look at the first two digits. So let's just pick using 2, 9, and 3, 8. How many ways can I do it? Well, I could do 2, 9, 3, 8. I could do 9, 2, um, 3, 8. I could do 2, 9, 8, 3. And I could do 9, 2, 8, 3. And, you know, fill in the rest of these palindromes going to the right. And you've got four possibilities. And it turns out for any two of these pairs of numbers on the right that I pick, I get four possibilities. Well, how many ways can I pick two of the pairs? Well, there are four of them. I need to choose two. Four choose two is six. If you don't know combinations, you should go learn them. So four choose two is six. So six times four is 24. So we have 24 of that, that way. Now, we, we said we had another set that have zero zeros in the middle. Well, it just basically means that, you know, you can do two zero zero two 9009 because they have to be a uh, palindrome. The outside still have to add up to 11. And so that means for each one of these pairs, you got one additional. So now we've got 24 plus 4. And we have to decide if there are some other cases. Well, one case um, is realizing, thinking outside the box a bit, that it never said that the palindrome couldn't look like this. 2, 2, 2, 2, 9, 9, 9, 9. Those all add up to 11. They're going to give us the 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. And so they're clearly going to be four of those, one for each pair. So you got uh, 24 plus 4 plus 4, which is 32, which a lot of you had as your answer. But it does turn out um, that there is uh, one more example um, about how to um, get uh, answers on these. Um, and you, you, you know, you have your two, 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 and two, nine, nine, nine. And that is if you use this one twice, meaning it looks like two, nine, nine, two, and nine, two, two, nine. So for each set of, uh, pair, each pair of that, you can do the same thing we've done here to get your 11. So that gives you 24 plus four plus four plus four, which is 36 different palindromes. So there were four cases. The basic case, which was like the example, the case with the zeros in the middle, the case where they were re all four numbers the same, and then the case where you switched them around, a similar case where you switched the middle two numbers around.